Um, what about electrolytes, though? Like, because we get a lot of questions, you know, electrolytes are, I guess, technically a supplement. You're supplementing your natural um, biochemistry with, you know, magnesium or salts. Um, any, any thoughts on that? Um, I, you know, I do think that if for time restricted eating, you know, I personally like to try to take everything within my eating window, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's really key when you're talking about things like sodium, potassium, magnesium. Like right. as far as I know, that's not really um, changing any of the, the circadian rhythm. But when you're talking about a prolonged fast, when people are fasting for, for example, maybe uh, 48 hours or, or right. more, and, and by the way, like as you get into a more prolonged fast, that's something that you may want to do under medical supervision. Yeah, absolutely. I should just I should say now that um, while you're a, a, a PhD, you're not a practicing clinician, and so none of what we talk about today should be construed as as medical advice, but but research uh, findings. Exactly. Yeah. Information. Um, so with with um, so basically. The electrolyte stuff, I think that, you know, there, there is evidence in the literature, you, you look at someone that's doing a prolonged fast, um, you do start to deplete things like sodium and potassium immediately. Those things sort of taper off as the fast goes on. Um, but I, I do think it, you know, there is some evidence that it's, it's good to take an electrolyte supplement, right. um, particularly with a prolonged fast. And if you're doing water only, uh, right. even more important, right? Yeah. yeah. So, and you, you know, there's a variety of like mineral and electrolyte supplements out there. Cool. So.